Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zautus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sign up a trust wallet or how to create your new account. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do here is you have to make sure that you've installed the trust wallet app. Now in this case, you need to go to Google Play Store or the App Store and search for trust wallet and install it on your mobile phone. Now in this case, go ahead and open up trust wallet here. And this is the first thing that you'll see. So in this case, uh, we need to get started here. So let's go ahead and click on get started. And from here, it's actually going to guide you on actually creating your account. Now in this case, we need to create a new wallet here. So let's go ahead and click on the create new wallet. And from here, we need to choose the option to create our account. So we have the Swift option here, which in this case allows you uh, to create and recover wallet with face ID or fingerprint. But currently, this is still in beta. So in this case, I would suggest you to start using the secret phrase here. But in this case, you could go, go ahead and use Swift instead if you want to. But in this case, uh, a more secure way is via a secu uh, secret phrase. In this case, let's go and click on the create option here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to back up our secret phrase. So our secret phrase here is something really secret. You need, you don't, uh, basically you don't share this phrase here because in case you lost access on your wallet here, this phrase or this secret phrase would actually help you recover your account. In this case, you could go and click on back up manually or choose Google here. And from here, it's going to say the secret phrase is the master key to your wallet. In this case, you have to agree to the following options here, like trust wallet does not keep a copy of your secret phrase. And also, saving this digitally is a plain text is not recommended. So examples include screenshots, text files, and emailing yourself. Now, in this case, I would suggest you to write this down instead of uh, getting or screenshotting your secret phrase here. Now, also, again, write down your secret phrase here. In this case, let's go and click on the continue button to see the next page. Now, we should be able to see the next page here, which in this case would actually give you your secret face. phrase. Now, in this case, my screen is actually black right now. I won't be able to actually show it to you because this screen is really, really private. In this case, make sure that you copy your circuit, uh, secret phrase here. And from here, once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on the continue button. And from then on, just follow the steps for you to recover or basically save this one. In this case, it's going to ask you to confirm your secret phrase here. Like, for example, it needs to uh, indicate or you need to choose the correct words or phrases here for or words for you to confirm like for example the word one word four word seven and word uh and a lot of other words now in this case go ahead and cl uh, click on it and answer correctly now on the next page it's going to ask you to enter a passkey or passcode that you want to use for your account again this key screen is going to be black because this screen is actually secured in this case go ahead and enter your passkey or passcode here and once you've entered that you should be able to see or see the pop-up here that says biometric login now if you want to use the biometrics like for example your fingerprint for you to log in you can go ahead and just click on confirm and from here just authenticate your fingerprint once you've done that, you should be able to see your trust wallet now set up. Now, if you want to add a new wallet, just click on the main wallet at the top left here. And from here, you should be able to see the wallets that you have. So if you want to add one, just click on the plus at the top right here. And from here, choose either create new wallet or add existing. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.